Hey guys, this is uh, <clears throat> Rip Fletching out shooting again in uh, low light situations. And I got another Robin Hood. This is becoming a plague. Uh, you know, it's all cool and everything until you start hitting them regularly. And then it becomes a pain in the hiney. So, uh, and these black eagles really get the job done. A little too well, actually. <laughs> kind of gets expensive. But, uh, that's my third dozen. We'll put this in a perspective. Um, they're full length, as you can tell <laughs> how long that is. But, uh, <clears throat> I've bought three dozen of these since, what was that, April? This is the first day of August. This is my third dozen. Not third Robin Hood, third dozen. I've never had so many Robin Hoods in my life is what I'm getting with these Black Eagles. It's becoming literally a problem. <clears throat> I have, counting this Robin Hood, this one that's still good, I can pull out four arrows left out of three dozen. So, man, kind of stinks. I'm glad they shoot good, but, man, that's harsh. These knocks they have, man, they're tough. You see how every, almost every Robin Hood I get, um, it splits these knocks and the knock stays intact. I mean, I know they're they're cut open, but I mean, look at that thing. Is, it's just driven down in there. Strange. Most knocks just explode. But these things are so tough, they actually hang on to the field tip. <clears throat> which you can see right there. I'll try to get it to zoom properly. And it actually hung onto the back of that field tip and drove all the way down that shaft. If you can believe that. But that's just the way they do. They're they're amazing. I have actually uh won one of the Robin Hoods. It went through the knock, popped the knock off, and it was laying on the ground. And I tell you what, it had come back to almost its perfectly original shape. And without a close examination, you could hardly tell that thing had been Robin Hooded. It just pinched back down into its original shape. All right, well, enough said, I guess. Uh, I should be a spokesman for Black Eagle. I, I am on their uh, pro, pro staff, but, I mean, come on. That's crazy stuff right there. This is the, um, the carnivores. Let me flip these over where you can read it. As the carnivore crazy the crazy carnivore <laughs> I just in there uh, eating a little chocolate pudding and uh, or a moose chocolate moose and uh, seeing a doe and a fawn here in my yard out by my bow targets and I was like that kind of got me in the mood to shoot a little bit again I was shooting my um, recurves earlier and I was like oh, I think I'm going to shoot my longbow a little bit I got a tournament coming up this Saturday so um, oh by the way I've uh, won state champion and um, shooter of the year with these black eagles so I just I really can't say enough about them other than it's expensive to keep robbing in these suckers alright catch y'all later and good shooting to you and a good deer season to all you guys who uh, who love that bow hunting all right, talk to you later.